He got down on the floor and did push-ups to the beat of an album for when goings got tough. Strictly for my niggas. He wasn't one of Tupac's niggas, but it didn't matter. The music affected him. It was close to the fateful day Tupac took lead, struggled, bled, and died. For every death, new life is born. Will rode the waves of beats and intonations of the poet, and the music drew him closer to the blunt expression he himself strived to put on paper. Truth outcasts its deliverer, so powerful it is. Mix of joy and plain, pain, I mean, continuity and abandonment. Will feared less the thought of being outcasted and a recluse than being discovered and stricken with celebrity madness. He went out to the back deck, away from the music, warm day-old pizza in his toaster, and ate it. Didn't blot the oil. Then brushed his teeth. Flossed for the first time in a month. His gums started to bleed, and he watched in the mirror the blood surpass his bottom lip and roll down his chin. He didn't wipe it away, just watched it in the glass. The wonderful shade of crimson drawn down his face. His blood was vivid, full of color, flowed heavy and true. The pain conveyed and fleshed out in Tupac's lyrics inspired him, inspired him to write. I tried so hard, Bella. I forgot to tell you to grab the leather over my shoulders when you got off my bike, touched your ankle to the hot chrome. You didn't complain. We walked up to the Baha'i temple with spikes on its buttresses pointing to the sky to keep the pigeons and their alabaster away from its bleached surface. In the silence after the hot exhaust sounded out for miles, the red returned to fall foliage in the city of trees. You asked, hold me harder, will you please? The lake dropped and the earth had risen for us. The ridge we stood upon while we smoked and looked down, the wind picked up and the sun demanded the clouds part. The moon, a faint outline dressed in sky for us. His thoughts didn't make more sense. The words and aligned letters on papers made sense in nothing. Nothing made more sense. Here, where are my leather for the return, you who understood the failure of society that essays to protect us from ourselves, the means that kill the end that would be life in its most natural form, Life that extends the imagination and breaks down all laws and barriers and makes for great struggle and emotion. Where my leather for the return, you who understand, who live in the crow's nest, watching over yourself, who live in the valley, the hollow of time. Let us return together. We'll go as we came, like a song's second refrain over the bridge, ankles cold without the socks we forgot to wear. The music pipes in the anteroom for us, four in the morning. He was with her at that moment. She lay there in tears on her bed, Bella, her bedroom very small. He could see her. He asked her in the Harley shirt she gave him if there was anything he could do before he hit the road, then Avenue, then shore drive, then highway, away from her and what had caused her such pain and him loss of sleep. They had invited it in for dinner and it had stayed through breakfast and over Ward's welcome. Then she left his mind and he hit the road on his bike, covered the avenue and rose into fifth and heavy wind on the highway. He could not believe he would have thousands of miles ahead of him to cover and no cover. Thousands of miles of memories of her.